Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Um, I'm out here in the boat shop. Got the skeeter behind me. <clears throat> Working on some tackle here, getting some things ready. Um, got a Kentucky Lake trip coming up. So, uh, bundled up. Uh, I'm sure that you are aware of the cool down that we've had in the recent weeks here. Um, that's changed a lot uh, of really our fall fishing. Um, things were starting to get right and then we had all this cold weather come in and I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to make it so much better. And it didn't. It made it tough for me. I had uh, a few nights where it's got down into the high 30s um, and had just a little bit of a frost. So for all you deer hunters, I'm sure you're fired up. And I will be in a couple more weeks. I just don't have the time to deer hunt like I used to. But part of that is because I'm addicted to that fall buzzbait bite. And it's hard for me to get in the woods when I know that's going on. So we've been down at Patoka Lake um, practicing for a tournament last couple weeks. And after two grueling practices, we decided that we're not going to fish the tournament. <laughs> I mean, we are on absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing. Um, we've put the last two weekends, you know, probably 20 plus hours in and have caught just a couple fish and had some, you know, good fish on, um, but just not enough there for us to get too excited about fishing it. So instead, I'm going to take Hunter down to Kentucky Lake. Um, but the video you're about to see is a tournament kind of recap video or whatever you want to call it from a few weeks ago. What I had happened to me really struck home with something that I've been trying to get better at and I have not done a great job of it this year. And that is, you know, practice. Like I, 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 I feel like that in practice I can break you know, water down quick. I can get, find fish quick. And a lot of times I can find good quality fish quick. We, uh, me and my tournament partner fished really hard leading up to this tournament and uh we just thought we had it dialed in and then it kind of changed on us and you know then we had to figure it out again and long story short going into this tournament we felt like we had a really good chance um to, to crack a good bag and probably ha have a chance at at winning this thing and um unfortunately the the week before um, we had a weather change and we were stubborn and did not make the adjustments necessary. Uh, our fish moved and they didn't move far, but we beat the proverbial dead horse for way too long um, until we finally figured, up, figured out that our fish had actually moved a little shallower. With that colder weather, the water temperature came down and just moved those fish up a little shallower, got them a little bit more active. And we just missed it. We flat out missed it. Um, so the premise of this is that, you know, whenever you break these, uh, these bodies water down and you kind of put together a pattern or, or an area, um, man, practicing, I used to hate practicing the day before a tournament or within a few days of a tournament, but I'm going to tell you what, things just change in the Midwest so fast. We hadn't practiced for five or six days before this tournament and, um, and a lot happened in those five or six days and it took us half the day to figure that out. And once we figured it out, it was too late. Um, our day was pretty much starting to wind down when we started catching the, the, the fish that we needed to put in the boat um, to do well in the tournament and just absolutely ran out of time. Um, so you guys, tournament fishermen or not, uh, if you're just out fun fishing and you enjoy figuring these fish out as aggravating as they can be, remember that things just change so quick and small adjustments can make the difference between a a good day, a great day, and a downright miserable day. Um, and I've been having a few of them lately. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Check out the little video here that's just got some of the fish catches and some of the things that, uh, that we were doing uh, in this tournament. Thanks again, guys. If you're not already subscribed, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. We greatly appreciate your viewership. For those of you, whether you're uh, new or old alike, we greatly thank you for taking the time to, uh, to click on the video. So we hope you come back and watch some more stuff in the future.
Got up underneath that pontoon boat, and I thought he was bigger. Yeah, I would have bet that was a keeper at first. Cause... Thank you. 